Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. We are on our way to Joplin to celebrate our son's 27th birthday. On our way, we decided to make a couple of stops and we are at stop number one. And our first stop is Big Brutus. What is Big Brutus, you may ask? That is Big Brutus. Oh my goodness. It is a self-guided tour. It's $10 for adults. I don't remember all the other prices for like kids or um, seniors or group rates or anything, but I will put all of that information in the description box below. Sorry, my paper is being weird. You get, speaking of paper, I apologize for the bad handling. Whoops. There goes my other paper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyway, they give you this nifty um, paper and it has information on Big Brutus. It's pretty windy right now, so that's why my... Anyway, so the, um, he weighs 9,300,000 pounds. 9,300,000 pounds. Working weight is approximately 11 million pounds. 11 million pounds. Okay, I'm pretty far away from him, so you can't tell how big he is. But let me just tell you, he is, let me see, his, the top of the boom, he is 150 feet tall, long. That is so crazy. Oh my goodness, he is huge. Let's go explore him. All right, to give you a little history, on Big Brutus. He was constructed in 1962 by the Basiris, Basiris, Basiris Erie Company of the Pittsburgh and Midway Coal Mining Company. He, um, Big Brutus served as a testament to human ingenuity and hard work. This colossal machine operated for over a decade, dramatically increasing the efficiency of coal mining in the region before retiring in 1974. He didn't actually come here until 1985, but he is officially retired. We do get to go inside and I can't wait. Do we know what this is? Okay. Right? I have no idea either. That's coal. So... Underground mining car used in the early 1900s. That's what this is right here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, they're using, that is a mining car from the 1900s for coal. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a baby version. Little giant. Dang. That's a hat with a light on it. That's crazy. I mean, not that that's crazy, but it's old. This is cool. Wow, okay. Mom had a good idea. Mom had a good idea. I, what is... That's got to be something. I just don't know what they are. Like rail spokes? No. Drilling things? Something.
Okay, so that's a voltage regulator cabinet from K Kruger Mine. Well, that just sounds scary. Where's Freddy? <laughs> and this is a replica of underground coal mine tipple, late 1800s or early 1900s. That is, oh my goodness. Look at all the cars, oh my goodness. Okay, so this was built by W.C. Perry. Is that who did Brutus? Uh, Mulberry, Kansas, 1894 to 1883. Used to locate coal seams in Kansas and Missouri. During the 30s and 40s. During the 1930s and 40s. Wow. Wow. Jeez, Louise. Okay, so this is what guys would look like. That is some crazy attire, but I mean, you have to, right? That's a really cool. This is a painting. That is so cool. And this is instructions for using the HH inhaler. <laughs> Which is this contraption right here that just looks creepy that so looks creepy wow I don't know who all these that thing is that a wrench? Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Okay, that that's... There's my hand. That thing is huge. Wow, okay. We get to go inside it? Oh my gosh! So this is, obviously you're seeing this after we go inside Brutus, but I'm filming, we're in the museum right now. So this is a little out of sequence, but you'll be seeing this after we've already gone in Big Brutus. But these are so cool. This, what we're looking at here is Tony Polich display. This is a working model of a deep shaft coal mine uh, common to this area in the early to mid 1900s. It was built by Tony Polich in the 1930s. Mr. Polich passed away in 1952 and the display was sold to the Kansas Museum of History where it was stored in October 1989. Big Brutus Inc. acquired this model with the help of Polich family uh, from the museum in Topeka, Kansas. The complete unit, I can't read, Operate. operated on six volts, wow, DC, supplied from the old Dodge car generator. That is what this guy is. This is so cool. Such a piece of history, man. Some rock. So cool. I'm excited. So they do have a video about Big Brutus. 
and uh, this one's just ending, so it will restart again. But you do have seating. Hi, mom. <laughs> But there you go. You can sit and enjoy a little video of Big Brutus and what he's all about. Wow, just look at them. I don't know if you can see the people, but there's people. <laughs> wow, he is huge. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go up there, but we're going to try. We learned that each one of those um, pieces is 2,000 pounds. This right here. Wow. Are you going to go up? No? Welcome to Big Brutus. Okay, I'm going to give mom my paper. <laughs> We're going up. Okay. Wow. Like, this is crazy. All right, so actually I'm gonna start with, this is the bucket that scoops up all of the, the material, the dirt. Oh my goodness. Wow, that thing is huge. <laughs> that thing is crazy. I don't know if I wanna go up because I'm unstable and there's nothing for me to hold on to, but gosh. I don't know, can you tell? Can you tell how big it is? I'm gonna try and make my way up there. We'll see how, how well, I mean, I'm gonna have to. Once I get going in there, I'm gonna have to. Heights be damned. Fear of heights. Fear of heights be damned. Okay, so this is the crawler. The crawlers moved the machine over the pit floor. The normal operation operating speed of the crawlers was 0.22 miles per hour. That is so crazy. But this is what moved Big Brutus. And... I mean, it is just massive. All right, here we go. Here we go, we're going in. We're going in. goes to. Oh, it doesn't, I can't go up. They've got it blocked, but this goes up to something. Okay, here we go.
Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am completely terrified. Good thing I have pants on. So this is a really dark area. Whew. It's almost scary for me to look in. Can you hear that echo? Echo! I'm not going back there. <laughs> Just saying. Wow. more back that way. I have no idea what this is. Oh my goodness. All right, back to the light. very tight in here like not not very although getting right here <laughs> Completely terrified right now, but uh, I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna I think the exit is back the same way. Yeah. I think so. Uh, no, it says exit. Yeah. No, because that's the entrance, so, so I think I don't know. Oh, we're also confused. Man. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that is my fear. Well, wait till we get over there. Oh, I might have to have you take the phone. Oh, man. 
but she can't. It's all stairs. She's missing it. I know, but she'll see it on the video. Hi, Mom. You'll see this. You'll see our experience. Uh, Is that the way down? The yep, exit. that's the exit. Yep. We found the exit. Oh. Wow, this... It's so hugely overwhelming. Yeah, this is the exit. The exit's right yeah. there. Okay. I can't go any further this way. Well, you have to get that way. Yeah. Will you... Seriously, will you take the phone? I need to be able to hold. one of the dunes. So these are crowd gears. The function of the crowd gears was to operate the stick that is attached to the bucket. It was operated by two 500 H, I don't know what HP stands for, direct current electric motors. The operator was responsible for operating the crowd. Here's the elevator. What? What is that? Elevator? It was the only way into the house when Brutus was in operation. Oh, okay, so in other words, they had to get in that to go up. Where do we go up? And then there's the winches. I don't think we do, but we can go over here. This is where you operate them. Oh my goodness. Wow. These are his controls. Other side. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm up here. <laughs> okay, see that? That's a bench. That's a bench. You could like sit here and take a break in this room. Yeah. This is, I mean, I don't know if you can see. I am to do. <laughs> okay. I'm getting over my fears. I am so shaking right now. I think you're shaking now. Come over here. What? What now? No. Is there more? Do I you need to? You walk down on a thing. You walk down on a thing. Out. out. Oh. Okay. We're walking out. Oh no. Okay. Dad, <laughs> shut up. He's laughing at me. Okay, all right, here, here, here. It's way down there.
I just, can't get back in. Just don't look at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> How high would you say we are? I don't know, 150 something feet? I don't know. I know that's, that's the boom, so I don't think so, but still, oh my god. I can't believe I just did that. See one of the gears in okay, there. I'm gonna turn it to that motor. Okay. Oh, oh, I need to turn on the light. Okay. Well, I don't know if that helped. I can't see. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Alright. Okay. Alright, I think we're gonna go down now. I think. Yeah. Was okay. that three feet or what? My heart's racing and, I, and I'm dizzy. Babe. I'm out of breath. Do we walk that way? I don't think so. Okay. Alright. Is massive in here. And we are still like 150 feet up, and the and that's the top. <clears throat> it's way up there. This is probably what it would like to be on the Titanic. Oh God. Okay. Watch your head. Yeah, I know. Don't laugh at me. It's very We're in a huge shovel. A huge shovel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just look at all that electrical. Dang. I know. Well, it was completely. Big Brutus is all electric. Yeah. He was before his time, although he used, he required oil to. Um, well, and hydraulic. Do maybe. the hydraulics, yeah. <clears throat> okay. That's definitely a turnaround. Okay. <laughs> See Watch why. your head. That's why. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Okay. I just have to do the old. This is, this is scary enough. Duh. Don't look down, that's the trick. Right. Just look straight. So look at the cool lights. Yeah. We're, up, we're still up there and we went down. Oh yeah, that's the turret. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're at the turret now where it, where it turns, where the box on top turns.
keep out. Yeah, look at all those hydraulic lines and stuff that turn that thing. That's insane. I think this is like, oh, that's some kind of, this has to do with the electrical. Right? Here. Oops, sorry. Yeah. It's so cool. I, I'm sorry I didn't take any pictures. Well, I took the one, but. Whew. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on ground yet. I'm on ground. I'm on ground. <laughs> I'm terrified of heights. <sighs> I don't know where Daryl went. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he is. Oh man. Was that cool? Oh yeah, that was cool. I was reading really nice. Sorry. Okay, I need to go sit down. I'm a, I'm a little, woo -hoo. Let's go find mom. Okay, Daryl hasn't been into the bucket, so he helped me climb the stairs. We're going in. We are in the bucket. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. Whew, I'm a little vertigo. Here, you want to... It's pretty big. Yeah, yeah, there's the bump out that I like literally was bawling. <laughs> I was crying. But I did it. I walked out on it. Can you believe that? Well, yeah, you can because you watched me do it. That's so crazy. I was up there. Well, as you can see, we are back home and we didn't, obviously, we didn't make the second stop. We spent too much time with Big Brutus, which is totally fine. There are other times to go to the other stop that we were gonna go to, but we just went from Big Brutus to Joplin and celebrated the boy's birthday. It was an amazing day. It was so much fun. I did get something from the Big Brutus mu Museum. So I'm gonna unbag it now. A little ASMR, guys, sorry. Oops, I didn't mean to rip it. <laughs> so while we were there, I had to, I got in that so, uh, it is glass. I was thinking it was going to be metal because it has that, you know, the look of the metal mugs, but it is glass, ceramic. Um, they give us cleaning instructions. 
So, I mean, I don't, you know, you know how to clean it, but they do give you cleaning instructions. But I love this mug. So I will let you know prices. I will also link their website in the description box below so that you can look at it yourself and get more information. So the prices are for adults is $10, seniors and military personnel is $9, children from 6 to 12 is $5.50, children 5 and under are free, there are season passes for $20. It was a lot of fun. We had such a blast and it was such a great day. I kind of wish I'd closed out the video there, but we did have that other location we were going to go to and one, one day we will get there, but I had such a blast and I want to say thank you to my mom and stepdad, John, because they paid for our way in and it was so much fun. We went through the museum, we watched their video, which I think is 20 something dollars, um, not dollars, minutes. <laughs> You can buy the DVD for $15, so there's that. And, the, oh, they also had mini versions of Big Brutus, but we just couldn't afford that right now. I do want to go back. I want to explore more because there is so much more than what I showed on this video. We focused solely on Big Brutus, and so there is a lot more there. As you saw when we were in the museum part, um, but there was also other uh, machines that we could have gone into and we just didn't. So I do want to go back and I do want to explore more. It was so much fun. I had a blast. I hope you had a blast. If you did, I would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all other future uploads, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And with that, have a great day. And remember... Gravity works, guys. Mm -hmm.